My name is Carson. Welcome back to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how to's, and reviews. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a one year in review on this BW Hitch. A little over a year ago, we did a review on this hitch. We actually included it in our ultimate hitch comparison where we reviewed it against multiple different uh, competitors in the same class. And I really wanted to give a good test of this hitch. And that's one thing I couldn't do because of the number of hitches I had. I've got trucks, I've got trailers, I've got um, multiple hitches in use at all times. So I, I am able to test hitches, but the quantity of hitches we had for that video, we just couldn't do all in house. So I actually sent this BW hitch to my cousin and he has been using it for the last year in his business and he's a used car salesman so he's picking up used cars and towing them around and so he's using this day in and day out and i knew he'd be a good tester for this this hitch so we sent it over to him and let's uh, hop into that video and show you kind of what his experiences have been with that hitch and how it's turned out after a year of use but it's had a trailer it's been hooked up to a trailer probably twenty thousand miles of that forty thousand at least loaded but so I've never, I haven't even taken it out of here. Once I put it in, it hasn't. The locks. The locks rusted up. That's Harbor Freight. But there's a little bit of rust from these pins. But they, this one slides in and out really easy. When you flip over the ball. Yep. It's like it's good machine. You know, it's machine. Really tight tolerances, which is nice. Do you lube your ball or do you go dry? I lubed it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> They like recommend some sort of like lithium grease like or something that. on the website. So most of the time it's the two and five sixteenths. Yep. And then every once in a while I'll tow with the two inch ball, but and you're not doing up and down with it very much. Nope. This is the the height. Yep. That's perfectly level on my trailer, and that's I think I've got one more hole at the bottom. My truck isn't tall, but it's taller than most. But yeah, I've, I've been happy with it. This one, this ball is rated for 10,000 pounds. The other one that I was towing with, it was rated for 7,500 pounds. And me, I'm like, when I'm towing, I'm like, okay, I'm, I might only have 6,000 pounds on the trailer, but when I'm hitting bumps, or when I have to stop hard, there's more force being applied to it, right? Yeah. So I'm always just like, <laughs> It's better to err on, you know, being... Well, this is a 7,000 pound trailer, so 7,500 is probably barely... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm like, is the ball going to bust <laughs> while I'm driving? This is a dollar store glass cleaner, so you know it's the hardcore stuff. <laughs> Perfect. More toxic and potent than anything else. Uh -huh. some really good degreaser but you know most of the time I just spray that on and then just let it sit and it'll come off. That's where I've like scraped. Oh okay. Going in and out of driveways and whatnot and that's rusting because there's no chrome plate in there. Still not too bad. No. The chrome plating held up pretty good. And then here where it rubs against the hitch. And this is probably just a little bit of surface rust too then. Mm -hmm. Machined nice, you know. There's not a lot of play in that. When I don't have a trailer on, it doesn't sit and rattle. Like That's my, good. My Reese hitches and the 
I can't remember what the other one is. That yeah, you've got one, two, three points of contact for a potential to rattle. Yep. But yeah, since it's winter's over and we're back into spring and summertime, it needs lubed up every year, you know. This pin, because of how rusted it is, and then you wonder how much... How much weight's on that pin? Exactly. Because that's pretty much the point of contact there. Really, when it all comes down to it, that's taking the whole weight. And it's just a Harbor Freight. <laughs> I think it was $7.50. <laughs> What's the weight rating on that? I have no idea. I have a lot more confidence with this hitch than I had with my other one. I was always worried about it either bending or breaking or trailer coming off. Yeah, it's good to have confidence in your towing. Absolutely. Okay, let's hop in here at the end for some bonus content. Uh, we're going to go through my cousin's toolbox and see some of the tools he likes and dislikes and that he's using as far as towing trailers and towing cars and strapping things down. So we'll top into that. It's supposed to flip on and off like that. Yeah, I've got a set like that, but it doesn't have the little thumb thing. So yeah, I'm always yeah. having to manually do that. And these you have to keep lubed up, otherwise though. I mean, these are hard to... What do you lube these with? Uh, I do like marine grease and PB blaster, white lithium, whatever's on hand. But... <laughs> so, <laughs> Just whatever. But they're always... How long have you had these? I've had these for about a year. I love the fold down handles. Yep. That's nice. Yep, they're good. You know, I can tighten something down, and since they ratchet, they're not going to come loose. So I have two, I have two long chains, and I have four short chains. But these, so these, they come with a little handle, and then you're supposed to spin these in to lock. Uh huh. First off, it takes forever. I mean, even even to get these tight, the handle the handle doesn't stay on, so you have to take the handle off and, and put it back on. You have to go like this, and then take it off, and then go like that. So first off, it doesn't ratchet; it takes forever. And then you're supposed to put these on like hands lock, lock rings type thing to lock. They never stay. So they just rattle loose. <laughs> yep. I was driving down the road one time, and. Uh, stopped to check my load all four were loose <laughs> they didn't stay tight at all they i mean you can get them to this point and then use this to beat them tight they'll still come loose <laughs> so how can you even throw them in the load. trash yet <laughs> just in case i need one but yeah kind of you know if i ever if i ever need another hook then i have it here you know kind of just keeping them for parts i thought about selling them because these cost about 40 or 50 bucks a piece. But, Dang. I mean, they're not worth the money. They're not worth the money at all. And Harbor Freight has these, and then they have the ones that are just the lever that lock. And I think those were about the same price, but I haven't tried those. With the lever lock ones, you have to have the big, like, semi-truck bar and yeah. the cheater pipe. Yeah. What's the working load limit on the handle? 5,400? 5,400 pounds. So the handles can do 5400 I guess. <laughs> <laughs> or that can. <laughs> I guess. That's probably the, the whole, you know, it's interesting they put that on the handle. Yeah. And when you buy them, they come separate, all of them. And that, like I showed you, that's a real pain to have to sit articulate, especially if you're in a tight spot. Like if I'm towing a lower car and I have to try and get this, I mean, you're going to hate yourself. You can do this. And get it pretty tight. Yeah. But then it takes. You got to do a couple more turns yeah. with the handle. Yeah. Whereas those are ratcheting. You can just Usually do two chain binders or four. Uh, I do two. Two on the front and one on the back for most vehicles. And then if I'm doing a truck, I do one on every corner or a heavier vehicle. Well, thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. Hope you liked this video. If you did. Hit the thumbs up button down below. If you like our channel, subscribe. Check out other content we have on the channel. Uh, and leave any questions or comments down below. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage, and we'll see you on the next one.